sweetheart and this is me again my sucker and welcome back to another episode of crash baking on new world tour and for today's dessert sweetheart is initially popular in singapore and Malaysia, and actually now spreading its popularity all over asia And you have seen the dried sweetheart that is a coffee buns or coffee roti. It is a dome shaped buns covered with sweet and crumbly coffee cookie crust. With warm and buttery filling. Paired with a cup of coffee and hot chocolate, this is the perfect way to jumpstart your day. So what is the best part is, you can make this at your home anytime with only a few basic ingredients that I'm sure you already have in your pot. So please keep on watching sweetheart and let's make this flavorful coffee buns. Are you ready to travel the world sweetheart? How about you join me and let's satisfy your cravings with the world's best dessert. Only here in Crash Baking on New World Tour. In a large mixing bowl or the bowl of your stand mixer, add 400 gram of flour, 30 gram of fresh yeast, 60 gram of cold butter, 90 gram of sugar, 30 gram of milk powder, one piece of whole egg, then start kneading it. Then start add 80% of the milk which is 240 ml. Then lastly, add 8 grams of salt. This will take so long so have a patient. As you knead the dough in the bowl, it will be less and less greasy or sticky. Continue kneading the dough until you reach a shiny and elastic dough. I recommend to do the window paint test so we know if we have sufficiently kneaded the bread dough. To do the window paint test, you have to cut a small piece of the dough about the size of a golf ball. Hold it in between your thumb and first two fingers like this. As you can see, the dough tears before I have fully extended my fingers. This means that the gluten isn't quite ready yet. Knead the dough for another 2 minutes and try the window paint test again. If you can stretch the dough without it breaking, that means the gluten is well developed and your dough is ready to rise. The dough must be thin enough to pass light through it. If it is of thin without any tear, then your dough is properly kneaded. Let's try again the window paint test. Transfer the dough into a lightly greased bowl, cover with towel or clean wrap, and leave to cool for at least 45 minutes or until double in size. Once the dough is ready, transfer the proof dough onto a lightly floured surface. Punch down gently to release the air. Divide dough into 40 grams each. Take a piece of dough and form it into a ball. Before doing this, make sure that you have cut and chilled 10 grams of unsalted butter for our filling. Take a piece of the divided dough and flatten it into a disc shape and place one of the frozen cubes of butter into the center of the disc of the dough. Then pull the edges around the butter and seal the dough in a roll shape. 
I have also tried putting a pastry cream. So I have frozen the pastry cream, put it in the center of the base of the dough, then pull the edges around and seal the dough in a roll shape. And for the coffee topping, in a medium-sized mixing bowl, cream together the softened butter and granulated sugar. Then add one small beaten egg and whisk or mix until smooth. Add 50 grams of flour to keep the egg from curdling. Then add the dissolved coffee and water mixture until smooth again. Transfer the coffee cream topping to a piping bag and snip a small corner off for piping the buns. In a code pattern, start at the top center of each bun and pipe outward in rings. Continue until approximately one and a half to two thirds of the bun is covered with the toppings. Bake the assembled coffee buns for 15 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. Then remove from the oven and allow the buns to cool on the baking sheet for 5 minutes before transferring to a wire cooling rack. The coffee cookie topping will crisp up within about 10 minutes of cooling or removing from the oven. pillowy soft coffee buns with heavenly buttery goodness. It has the right amount of coffee to taste and wake your senses. Indeed, sweetheart, this is a great way to start your day. So once again, sweetheart, thank you for watching and this is me again, my secret saying, as long as you know how to bake, life 
is sure to be sweet because life is what you make of it. And always remember, sweetheart, hand in hand, let's make the world a better place. I really hope to see you on the next episode of Crush Baking on You World Tour. Crash Baking on You World Tour.